the Film Learn 60K short film competition with over $1,000 in prizes is now on. Head to filmlearn.com to download your entry pack and to enter your short film. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And we're back again with another Spider-Man effect. I know it's pretty obvious, but this time we're going back to Captain America Civil War to take on the Spider-Man hologram effect. And guess what? It's super easy. Now in order to complete this effect, you need to head down to the description, head to filmlearning.com and download the Spider-Man hologram effects pack. This contains our Spider-Man hologram animation itself, the projection animation, and also a flare for those that don't have either optical flares or no light factory. Now obviously you also need to shoot some footage, because you've got to project the hologram onto something. I mean, that's a given, right Lawrence? My god. Exactly. So all I did, ironically, is just film my Batman alarm clock that has a little uh, laser projector, and I just tilted the camera up to pan to the roof. And that's it. And basically, all we're gonna do is track that shot and then put the hologram into it. It's that simple. So how about we stop all that jibber jabber and get straight into After Effects. Okay guys, here we are in After Effects. I've got my comp set up and ready to go. So if we check out a preview, you can see I've got my Batman clock in the foreground with its little projector thing sticking up and then the camera tilts up to the roof. Now you may also see that I stuck a small green marker to the roof, which will come in handy in just a minute. Now since we have a camera move in this shot, we have to track the camera in 3D space rather than just using the usual tracking markers as we want our hologram to appear as part of the scene and be revealed by our camera move. So to do that, we'll just head over to our tracker menu and hit track camera. Now if this menu doesn't appear in your version of After Effects, head up to window and select tracker and that's where it'll be. Now gang, depending on the type of footage you've got and the size, this process can actually take some time so I'm just going to skip ahead to the end when it's already finished with a stupid sound effect. There we go. Now if we skip up to the roof, you can see that that tracker has picked up my green marker and it's tracked it as a part of our scene, which is pretty handy because this is where we're going to be adding our hologram. So what we can do now is just select this marker right here, right click and then select create camera and null. So now we have a null in the exact spot we're going to place our hologram. From there, it's time to add our hologram animation. I've already imported this in as the image sequence animation right there. So let's drag and drop it into our scene and make it 3D. We'll then skip forward to the end of the comp where we want to place our hologram on this part of the roof right here. There we go. And then we'll hit R and using them there rotation controls, we're going to rotate our Spidey hologram into place. Once you're happy with that, let's turn on motion blur for the comp and the layer. Next step, let's change the transfer mode to screen. And then we're going to enhance that glow slightly by hitting Ctrl D and duplicating our hologram layer. We'll then head right up to Effect, Obsolete and grab a Fast Blur. And if we increase that up just a tad, you can see we're getting a nice subtle glow effect. Now another thing you can do to add a little more hologramming-ness, yeah, let's go with that. Let's select the Unblurred Hologram layer, head up to Effect, Blur and Sharpen and add a CC Radial Fast Blur. Set the zoom to brightest, Pull the center point way up above your comp. You may have to zoom out to do this. And then we'll just increase the blur amount slightly. And you see you get a nice subtle bleed from your hologram. But this is totally optional. I like that it's a cherry on top, so I'm going to keep it on. So what's next? Well, we've got to add our projection light, baby. You're projecting. Drop it. You drop it. You stop projecting on me. Anyway, let's grab our projection light and drop it into our video. And of course, make it 3D. I'll then move it into place onto our Batman clock right here. Now guys, this is a big video file, so you may have to scale it down for your particular shot. I'll then enable motion blur and change the transfer mode to screen. Now I can hear you saying, well, that's not red. So <laughs> let's fix that. Let's head to effect, color correction and grab photo filter. And from the drop down menu, we're gonna change the color to red. Now that's not quite red enough. So I'm just gonna head straight up to effect, head to color correction and grab a hue and saturation. And I'll just play with the saturation and the lightness until I find something I'm happy with. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now, as you can see, we do have a little bit of a problem here. The light is actually sitting on top of my projector and you can see the edge there. 
So let's grab that pen tool right up there, and then draw a rough mask around the projector right here. Mm, done. We'll then collapse down the mask menu and change that mask from add to subtract. And maybe just hit F and feather it out a little bit. Just a little bit. Nice. Let's now head to the end of our shot and just make sure that projection isn't going outside the bounds of our hologram. If it is, we'll just grab the pen tool and draw a rough mask around the hologram and then just feather it out around 50 pixels and make sure we set that mask to add. Now, if we want the projection to be more, say, prominent, you can duplicate it or add a second iteration of it and adjust it slightly so that it just fans out a little bit more and looks a little bit different. Just follow the same steps I just mentioned. Make sure you mask at the bottom, adjust the rotation maybe, and then check the end of the comp in case you need to tidy up once more. Alrighty, almost last step, adding our flare. Now, if you don't have optical flares or no light factory, or you're just lazy, just grab the flare still from our download pack and drop it into the comp. We'll then make it 3D and move it into place right at our projection source right here. We'll then finish it off by turning on motion blur and changing that transfer mode to screen. Now, once again, if you want to make this bit a little bit more glowier, just duplicate it, add that fast blur, and then just punch it up a little bit. Now guys, as always with any of these shots, I'm gonna just finish it off by pre-composing it into a brand new comp, like so, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of scaling to enhance the shot. It's not really all that hard to do at all. And it also gives you a nice tidy comp. And that, my friends, is another effect done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. So guys, that's my take on the Spider-Man hologram effect from Captain America Civil War. Super easy, and I've already done all the heavy lifting by doing the animation for you. All you gotta do is track that shot, stick your hologram in, get the projection working, and you're done. Now guys, I did get a little bit held up with some family stuff this week, so there will be a second episode of Film London coming this week, and who knows what it might be. Did you see that? That's what it is. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. If you're new here, why not subscribe or maybe check out the Patreon or enter the Film Learning 60K short film competition. Entries are open until October 7th. Or you can check out one of our other Film Learning episodes right there. Now I've got the Twitter up there, the Facebook up there, and just check them out because I post all the time. And until next time, guys, which is later in the week, keep learning.